I have got tons of gear, tons of lures, tons of it at home, and I want to give it away. So make sure to leave a comment if you want a chance to win. I'll give it about a week or two. I will pick one of you and I will send you some gear. Remember, post a comment, win prizes. Golden griddle. Indeed, we are. So what kind of fly we got on there? We have a Frisky Jenny perch pattern fly. Very popular pattern here in the Northwest. One of my go-to favorites for trolling. Hmm. If we send this little guy home, he grows up a little bit. What do you think? I'm good with that. What's up, YouTube? We're out at Rock Lake in Whitman County, and we just caught our first fish. Little baby rainbow. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, some German browns that maybe grew up a little bit more than that one. What do we got going? We've got uh, we got three rods going today. We got uh, depths of about, I don't know, 18, 25, and 10. Most of the fish we're seeing are above 25 feet and we got the uh, frisky jenny perch pattern with a uh just a chrome dodger over here we got another chrome dodger going straight out the back with a pink apex and over here we've got what do we got what do we got a cicada fly in black with a perch patterned dodger oh we got a fish on say 16 17 inch rainbow nice and healthy just about the size we're looking for maybe we can find some browns to match this man maybe we can find his big brothers as well so let's get this guy in the, uh, the cooler and find some more available on northwestfishreports.com. On the menu, under reports, is a sub-menu item called GPS hotspots. Go to that, look up the lake or the river that you're interested in, drill down to the quality of reports, quality of hotspots. Sometimes people put in hotspots on a one-star report. You want to get this one, Noah? So like I was saying, no, you no. drill down 
to the quality of report you want, you don't want to look at hotspots from one-star reports because that's where people are telling you where not to fish, when not to fish. You want to get the four and five-star hotspots, and uh, what that'll do is help you have a starting place. The wind is taking control. Happens all too often. It'll give you a starting place, and uh, you know whether that's. Uh, Oh boy, there's just too much going on now. Got another rainbow. He is a little bit bigger than the first two. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, look at that. It's a decent size. Yeah, 14, 15 inches? Yeah. That's yeah. fish. So we got on the water <clears throat> and started having good success right away today because we were using the hot spots from the website. So once again, real quickly, northwestfishreports.com, main menu, click on reports, go down to GPS hotspots, put in the lake you want, the river you want, whatnot, fill out the details that you want, what species you're looking for even. And uh, no one's steering the boat. You know, I seem to sing this no one's steering the boat jingle almost every time I'm out fishing. No one's steering the boat. So make sure to click the link in the hotspots that takes you to the report where that hotspot was generated and uh, read the details because then you'll know not only is that where you need to fish, but what were they fishing with? What color allures? Were they using bait? Were they fishing for the kind of fish that you even want to fish for? Got another one on. And apparently he's pulling good, so. All right. Wait. If you're not steering the boat, <laughs> who's steering the boat? It's the fish. First time that's happened. There we go. Oh, good too, because he's a beauty. All right. Look at that. No, nets do not float. Good job, Noah. That was my fish. That was your net, too. That's my fish. That was my net. Yeah, we'll have to discuss that later.